Today, I'm going to show you how you can create a multi-criteria index match. I was asked by someone the other day, and they had they were trying to bring up information, and they had needed two criteria to check to check this information in. Now, so I have an example here, and I I've always worked in the contracting world, and so you have a number of employees with a number of different contracts, and then they would all have a different expiry dates. And if you were the manager of this project, you'd want to make sure to keep track of when the next person was expiring and whether you wanted to renew them or whatever. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go, um, I have end dates is this sheet here, and I have contracts here. When I'm doing index match, I always like to name my ranges. So I have named, uh, the names, I've named names, so um, so there's my names, and the next one I've named is my contracts. So I, I just select that and then go and press, type it in here and press enter, and that's how I named this. And then the last one I've done is my expiry dates, which is there. The criteria for us to um, to have many things is we're looking for a one. Uh, true in, a, in Excel or any computing world works out to be a one and a zero is false. So if we use an example of AND, the AND function, and so what you need to do is you can put a couple of things and if it's um, true, it will come, the, if they're both true, it'll come true and if one's true and one's false, it'll come false. Okay, so let's go, um, this is equal to this, which is true. Okay, and now we're going to multiply that times 1. And you should get 1, right? Now, so if the same theory goes here, if we have if B is equal to C, which it's not, and you multiply it by one, then you're going to get zero. So in our match function, what we're looking for is not an exact thing. What we're looking for is the combination of things that we have there to equal one. Okay, so let's start our match function and we'll go equals index. And so the first thing that we're looking for an index match is where what you want to bring back, which is our expiry date. So I'm going to start typing XP and there you have it. It comes up as a named range. And so there you go. And so then uh, what you're going to do is you're going to put a comma there and then you're going to go match. Now, I'm looking for a one here, so I want both conditions to be true. I'm going to only have two conditions here, but you could have you could have multi conditions here, okay? And so I am putting a comma after the one, and I am going to to put an opening bracket. So now what we want to do is make sure that this employee. Now this isn't going to work. So what I'm going to do is delete this just for the fact that we need to have, because we're going over two sheets, I need to go to this sheet and that sheet just to make sure I have the, the sheet name that this is coming from. So I want the employee one to equal names. And so I'm going to do this. Okay. And then similar to the to the one times the true statement, I'm going to put a times in here, and then I'm going to do next one, and I'm going to say I want the contract, and it happily put in the, the sheet name for me. Now, I want to drag this down, so I'm going to F4 this to absolute reference it, is equal to and contracts. And there's my named range here. And then I'm going to end this. I'm going to close the bracket. 
And then I'm going to put comma, and I'd like an exact match. And I'm going to close that bracket. And I'm going to close that bracket. Now, before we press enter, we're grouping these as one entire thing. And so we need to make this an array. So how we make this array is we press the control shift enter. And there you have the end dates. Now, I personally hate having NA come up. So let me just fix up this formula. And what we're going to do is it, because this these are all uh, formatted to be dates, if I have it enter zero or enter blank, it's going to enter uh, one 1900, one one 1900. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a dash in there. So let me go up to my top formula here, and I'm going to go in front of this, and my uh, my curly brackets disappear, and I go if na. And so now what I want it to do is I want it to put just a dash in because dash looks far better than um, than NA in there. And I'll put uh, quotation marks and then dash and quotation marks. Need to press the control shift enter to get my curly brackets back. And then I, there you go. And so now when I drag this down, I'm going to get rid of those annoying NAs. And so I'm going to continue with the rest of the formulas, and I'm going to do it the same way. So now I've completed it for each of the columns. And if you look at the formula here, the formula looks very much the same as what I've done. I have changed, uh, for example, in this E column, I have F for the E column in here, and they're all the same. And I've got the dash instead of the NA here. I will include um, this formula in the description of my video. I'm not able to put the uh, curly brackets on it in my description. The, the only way that you're able to put the curly brackets on in this formula is to do the control shift enter in the formula. So this is how you do a multi-criteria index match. Please subscribe.